Hey, hello guys, Steve here from Greenway Outdoor Maintenance. It's a beautiful Monday morning. And that's what's left of our snow we got last week. Anyway, so you don't want to see my ugly face, do you? So over here, my neighbor has a couple branches down. And I got my clipper out right there. Right there, I keep walking. Now these old clippers I got about 10 years ago. And as you can see, the blade is pretty chewed up on them. Let me tell you, it still cuts like nobody's business. So, we're going to cut this branch up here. I got my little tripod out. And I don't know how good this will work. We're going to find out. I think I'll set this up over here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Anyway, I'm going to get a chainsaw for this big fat one here. I can cut this up anyway. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm getting weak. Oh, that's a dead branch. That's a dead, dead branch. Anyway, this blew off in the windstorm we had last week. And so I'm going to whack it all up. And, uh, put it in the barrel. So then go out for the trash. Okay. Yeah, for three pair of clippers I got about ten years ago. These that was a nasty. Well, this won't cut to that to the branch. You already know that, so I'm gonna set that over here. But we got the branch over here. Flowers are coming up. The crocuses are coming up already. So we've got such a mild winter. They're all coming up early. The, crocus, the crocuses, the dandelions, dandelions, the uh, daffodils, tulips. If it stays warm, they're going to be up in about another three or four weeks. But we had this little cold snap. So I think it's cured them coming up. I don't know if you can see the they're coming up right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So those are the crocuses and dan and daffodils, tulips, all that good stuff. So I gotta cut this branch here. So some of you guys, this will not be very interesting too, but like I said, I haven't had much snow to worry about. I mean, here lately, I've had more snow in the last couple of weeks than this month than we've had all winter. So, so that's, you know, fun in Denver, Colorado, yeah. I'm still debating on what kind of plow I'm going to get. I think I've narrowed it down to, to one. Uh, the Snow X. Uh, they make, Snow X makes Fisher, uh, Western, Blizzard. They make four different kinds. Somebody was asking, why do they make four different brands for the same company? Well, originally Snow Axe only been around for the last, as their own plow, I should say, for about the last uh, six, seven years. And so, I should put my cumbers away before I forget where I left them at. But they, uh, they made all these parts for Blizzard and Western and all this stuff. Like any big, big corporation, you buy out the competition. So, anyway, so that's why they start making their own plows after they researched and developed all those other people buying plows, making plows and parts. So they came out their own, Snow X. 
There are a step above Fisher. There are a step below. Now the same par as Blizzard and Western. I think they're a little better. I could be wrong on that. But uh, that's what they are. And so right now I'm waiting to see where I can steal the money from. Not literally, but what account I can take my money out of to see if I can afford, I can afford one. It's just uh, the snow, dag, snow dogs were $4,000 installed. Uh, I called boss. Now, in the bosses, by the time I got done with what I wanted, is on, the tax and everything is only about $6,300. I don't have $6,300. $5,300 I can arrange. But uh, the $5,300 is not bad. I called up Snowway and their regular duty plow, Snowways was, was $5,345 plus tax. They figure $5,600. And the, their heavy duty plow, which has the wings and all that put on it already and all that, is $6,500. So. Now I'm going to have to double check with my ex, you know, my snow ex guy and make sure that 5300 includes tax. He said include insulation, but I didn't think he said include tax. So I will double check that with him before I buy any, buy it. But I'm, that's the way I'm leaning because one, he's close to my house. So if my plow breaks down in the next two years or any time after that, I can do it. He also sells all the lighting, which they all do. They all sell the extra lighting, the, uh, but this guy is basically a, a off-road four-wheel shop and he sells so if you, I need to beef up my suspension he can do that for me if I need to you know have new shocks put on he can do that and he's not nearly as dear as the uh, Ford dealership like I said I took my truck in that little white beauty there 2011 f-250 I probably mentioned this in earlier videos in, Jan in November last year I got a battery put in it died in December. I took it in. No, nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Uh, I uh, so they gave me a free oil change. Didn't charge me for the checking the battery out, which is okay. Uh, November. I mean, that was November. December it died. January it died again. They said I need a new alternator, and I bought the extended warranty on this thing, so I wouldn't have to pay out of pocket for all these repairs. For them to replace the alternator, they gave me a quid, a price of fifth no, eleven hundred and fifty dollars is what they were going to charge me, eleven hundred and fifty. But I had the insurance, so it only cost me a hundred. Uh, then they then it died again in January. It died again. I took it back into them. I said, "Gentlemen, this is the third time. Actually, the, well, if you count the time I had the new battery put in the first time, it's the fourth time." I said, this is going to be ridiculous. So they checked it out from bumper to bumper. They checked everything out. Oh, by the way, your battery has a bad cell in it. I said, that's what was wrong to begin with. Well, we don't sure if it, was, if it was caused by that or the alternator overcharging, discharging. But anyway, but you know, you took the caps off that battery. I said, yeah, I took it off to check the cells, make sure there's water in the cells. Because if you have a dry cell, it won't charge. Well, that, that might avoid your warranty. So we have to go through. And I said... Excuse me, I took this caps off to check what well, you guys should have checked a while back, but I wasn't sure if you guys did that, so I took them off. My problem was when I put them back on, I did not smash them down with a hammer. I just used the end of the screwdriver and pounded it down. So, anyway, they got it overridden. The manager gave it to me. Got me in the battery. If the battery was a year and a half, two years old, okay, I can understand that. But it's a five year Ford battery, and it's replaceable up until four and a half years unprorated which means if it dies in the next four years again or bad battery bad cell won't charge they will replace it for free so for four and a half year or four three and a half four years after that in the last year is prorated so i figure by that time you know if i still have this truck in five years which i plan on it i don't plan on getting rid of this truck unless somebody clobbers me or you know something falls out but i was looking at you know this is my son's f-150 they make plows for the 150s now lightweight duty plows but if I get a plow I gotta take my bush guard off here which is in a sad shape and needs to be re repower coated but you know my truck has almost 80,000 miles on it so I mean I might keep it until it dies 
I did my Ford, my Dodge. I had a 16-year-old Dodge. I finally got rid of it because it was costing me, you know, nickel and dime, nickel and dime me to death. Or the repairs were costing me as much as it would if I had a truck payment. Now, I have to take this off and he just bolts on, you know, here and bolts on down there at the frame down there. I didn't, you know, I've gotten in there. My new plow will bolt on down there. I do have a, I don't know where the hell it went, but I do have a charger to heat the engine block up, I believe. I think that's it. Or is that it down there? I can't find it. I mean, there's a plug-in in here for it. There it is. I think that's it. Yeah, plug in for the, for the, uh, just pulled all the wiring harness loose on that. Oh well, that's a plug-in for the battery, I believe, for the car charger, or for the engine block warmer. I hope. I will find out when I take it in, have those guys do that for me. And my camera just decided to rotate off to Never Neverland. Anyway, don't feel like twisting on me. Maybe my, my tripod's come loose. That's what happened. The tripod came loose, unscrewed itself. Anyway, so that's what I got to do with that. And I got to check this out. And I just pulled it loose. So I got to get in and see what I pulled, where I pulled it loose from. There we got some. I think it was just a clip that was on the back side here. Someplace was this little clip here was holding it in someplace. So I got to get under there and find out where it was clipped in at. So, I mean, I presume that's an engine block warmer. So I take it in and have them look at the plow. I will ask the guy if that is, in fact, an engine block warmer, or is it a plug-in for a plow where you don't have to do all the rewiring. It looks like a plug-in for a regular outlet to me. Now, I could be wrong. But anyway, I kind of rambled on like 12 minutes of this video, so me enough of me rambling, cutting up tree branches, a boring weekday, no snow to shovel, so you all take it easy. Have a good weekend, or have a good week. And like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you all think. And this is kind of a rambling long ramble video. Talk to y'all later. Like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Talk to you later. Bye.